What's going on guys? Garrett here from Renegade Products. We are in beautiful, sunny California. I uh, wanted to quickly go over our touchless truck wash system. We just launched this. Uh, basically, it's a, a two-part system, which is the low pH soap followed by a high pH soap. The low pH soap is gonna be a pH of three, while the high pH is gonna be a pH of about 13. When you use them in conjunction, they balance each other out to get to that kind of pH neutral uh, that you need to be safe. It's so important to note that with these vehicles, obviously with semi trucks, they have a lot of polished aluminum or sometimes polished stainless uh, on the surface. These products do not harm any polished aluminum, so they are safe on all vehicles. Really important here is that you wanna make sure that you always use a minimum of 22 200 PSI on your pressure washer. Now, as far as how much soap to use inside of the foam cannons, please make sure, first of all, that you're using separate foam cannons for each soap because you don't want to cross contaminate, but you want to make sure that you use one part soap to three parts water. So I would fill up this foam cannon probably about to here uh, with soap, other than the rest with water. You wanna make sure that you use a pressure washer. Well, actually you can use it with the bucket. Uh, just make sure that you use it with the brush if you decide that you need to agitate. Uh, otherwise, the pressure washer is gonna be the best system for you because uh, the pressure and the soap together, the pressure does a, does a great job of kind of pushing any contaminants that are on the surface of the vehicle. First, we're gonna make sure that we rinse the vehicle uh, to remove any of the kind of surface contaminants that are left lingering on the vehicle. So any of the loose stuff, we wanna get that out of the way. Now, when we go with our first step, which is our low PA, now that low pH is gonna be able to really soak into any of those surface contaminants to really loosen it from the vehicle. So once you do the, the low pH soap, now we can follow up after that with the high pH, uh, again, to neutralize everything. And then also those chemicals uh, do a great job of pulling off anything that's left over from the vehicle. Now we can follow up with our final step, which is the rinse. And the, wrist, the rinse is really important because you're gonna to wanna to make sure that we get off any leftover remnants of any of the chemicals from the vehicle. All right, guys, so I just wanted to touch up on a quick few things before we close out here. First, shout out to David from Montez and Sons. Uh, appreciate you bringing by the rig and letting us uh, do a little demo on it. Uh, always make sure you're minding your safety. Make sure you have the right pressure washer. Make sure you go through the procedures, you know, rinse, clean, rinse, clean, uh, just like that. And make sure that uh, you are not touching anything with your hands or getting in your eyes. So uh, if you guys have any questions on the process or how to use these products, uh, please shoot us an email, cs at renegadeproductsusa.com. Thanks guys, peace.